Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be delivering the first chapter on data and statistics section by section. As you will know, the first thing that comes always to mind is how the subject, the course, is structured. So today, today's chapter on data and statistics will basically cover the most important uh, following point. As you can see, in front of you. But before uh, we get into the nitty gritty of the topic, I just wanna let you first of all um, know that today I'll be only covering the first, uh, the first se section which, uh, which is on application in business and, and, and economics with its multiple um, perspectives on accounting, finance, marketing, production, and finally, um, economics. Right, uh, all of us, we encounter um, the, the following types of statements on a regular basis. Statement, we read them in books, newspapers, magazine, and we hear them even on television and, and, and a radio station, which is clear, which is something that we come across every day. First statement, the National Association of uh, Real Estate Agents reported that the median price paid by first time home buyers is $165. Um, the average one way travel time to work is 25.3 minutes. The national average price for a regular gasoline reached $4 per gallon for the first time in history. Now, as you can see, their followers, subscribers, these numbers, these figures, 11%, $4, $5 dollars, $5 um, 79%, 25.3 minutes, these figures, these numbers, these numerical facts, they are facts. These facts, are called statistics. And then the question that comes next would be, what do we mean by statistics? What statistics is? Statistics is defined as the art and science of collecting, analyzing, presenting and interpreting the data, particularly in business and economics. The information provided by collecting analyzing, presenting, and interpreting data. It gives clearly managers and decision makers a better understanding, a well-informed uh, uh, understanding of the business and the economic um, environment within which they operate. And therefore it allows them, it enables them, uh, it empowers them to make more informed and better decisions. Now on applications in business and economics. On accounting perspective, um, public accounting firms, they use statistical sampling procedures when conducting audits for their clients. For example, suppose an accounting firm wants to determine whether the amount of accounts receivable shown on a client's balance sheet fairly represents the actual amount of accounts receivable. Usually, the large number of individual account receivables uh, makes reviewing, checking, validating every single account to demanding and to um, time consume and even very expensive so as a very common practice in, in such um, case or cases, the audit staff, they chooses and selects a subset of the um, account called a sample. After reviewing the accuracy of the sampled accounts, the auditors draw a conclusion as to basically whether the accounts receivables uh, amount shown on, on a client's balance sheet is 
either acceptable or not acceptable. So on the finance perspective, the financial analysts, as you all know, they use a variety of um, statistical information to guide their own uh, investment recommendations. Uh, for example, in the case of stocks, securities, um, the analysts, uh, they basically review a variety of um, uh, financial data, including um, price uh, slash earning ratios and even the dividend deals uh, and um, other, uh, you know, uh, stock exchange um, uh, indicators. So by uh, basically comparing the information for an individual stock with uh, information about, uh, let's say, the stock market averages, uh, a financial analyst can then begin to uh, make a conclusion as to uh, whether an individual stock is um, uh, overpriced or underpriced. On the marketing um, perspective, um, electronic um, scanners at uh, retail checkout counters collect data for a variety of um, marketing uh, research applications. Um, for example, uh, data suppliers uh, such as um, ACN Nelson and information um, resources purchase point of sale scanner uh, data from grocery stores, process the data and then sell statistical summaries of, data, of, of, of the data to, uh, to the factories or manufacturers. On production, uh, today's emphasis on quality makes quality control an important um, uh, application of statistics in production. A variety of statistical quality control um, graphs and charts and they've been used to uh, basically uh, control and monitor the, the output of a production uh, process. Uh, on economics, we know that economists, they uh, frequently provide um, predictions about the future uh, of the economy and uh, or some aspects of it. So uh, they basically use a variety of statistical information in making, su in making such um, predictions or forecasts. Uh, for instance, uh, in forecasting inflation rates, economists, they use statistical information on such indicators as the, as, um, the produce, producer price index, the unemployment rate and the manufacturing capacity utilization. Often these statistical indicators uh, are being entered into uh, com computerized forecasting models uh, that predict inflation uh, rates. So guys, um, here we are, we've come to end. Thank you for tuning up. See you soon, bye.